Hey everyone, I'm Cody Townsend. I'm a professional skier and Solomon athlete. I'm also a connoisseur of couloirs, a scholar of the steeps, and most definitely a patron of the powder. And on today's how-to episode, we're gonna be going into some of those subjects. We're going to be talking about how to approach, climb, and ski couloirs. So first off, a little bit of a disclaimer. Coulard skiing is very risky. They're often steep, narrow, and challenging to ski. So today's tech talk is very much for experts only. And if you don't have any experience in this terrain, we suggest you hire a guide to take you out there instead of just watching this video and going out there by yourself. Okay, back to it. The first and most obvious tip of coulard skiing is making sure that coulard is safe enough to ski. So researching the line deeply researching avalanche conditions and understanding the risk before you go out there is absolutely vital. You know, a couloir is actually quite often the funnel of the mountain. Avalanches, rocks, everything falls right through it. So if you happen to be in that couloir when that stuff is coming down, you're not going to have a good time. So as we're climbing up a couloir, quite often the conditions can change very rapidly due to snow and wind loading. The avalanche forecast might not capture every little detail that you'll find in a couloir. So while going up, I'll dig something called a hasty or a hasty pit. So instead of digging a ton of really extensive stability tests, I use my hand to dig down six to 24 inches down and give it a better understanding of what's going on. I might dig four to six hasties on the way up. I might dig it on the left side, the right side, truly try and gain more understanding in like a microclimate sort of way, what's going on with the snow in this couloir. And if at any one moment, one of those hasties triggers something that makes me feel uncomfortable, I'll turn around. Because quite often, like I said, the conditions can change while moving up a couloir. Okay, let's throw in to Bjarne. He's the cinematographer for the 50, and he's got a really good tip for side hilling. Here's Bjarne. Uh, yeah, this is a good tip. I use it a lot, actually. And uh, sometimes when it's kind of hard and you're skinning and it gets a bit steeper, sometimes you can go like this and you lose your outside edge. So yeah, easy. The way to do that, if you don't have ski crampons or anything, you can actually take your pole and put it in the snow just before the ski so it doesn't slide, pretty much like this. If I was gonna slide here, the pole would actually stop my ski from sliding. Well, as I just slid out. Do you maybe need a pole under yours? Maybe I need my pole yeah, so right I, underneath. Yeah, so you just do that. So here's a tip you may have seen before, but you might not quite have understood. So often a couloir gets steeper as you get towards the top. And as a part of your kit, you should often have an ice ax while climbing couloirs. But sometimes there's this point when the snow is too soft for an ice ax to gain adequate purchase, but you still need some anchoring to get up that last little part. So that's when I take my ski poles and I flip them upside down and I plunge them in now this is aided by taking off the straps of your ski poles. Um, that's why quite often you don't see me skiing with straps for little things like these. And you also have to know that these aren't true anchors. They are just giving you a little bit of extra purchase and stability while getting through that last little bit of the top of the couloir. So now we're on top of the couloir. Here's a tip from the field on how to get back down. So when you get in the steeps, one of the best suggestions I have for people has to do all with your shoulders. So in, in couloirs or on steep faces, quite often when you look down, it looks scary. And what do you do when you're scared? You tend to pull away from that. And what I see a lot of people do is they start to drop their inside shoulder a little bit, which actually makes the whole situation even worse because you start to lose your outside edge. So what I really emphasize for people when you're skiing in the steeps is keeping that shoulder level. So something like this to even counterbalancing it towards the slope. Just put that much more downward pressure right on your downhill edge, gives you more grip and ultimately more confidence. 
It feels counterintuitive to be leaning down the slope that's steep and kind of scary, but trust me, it's one of the most important things uh, for keeping your control and stability in the steeps. Here, I'll give you a little demonstration. So just watch my poles, doing nothing with my skis. If I do this, I start to slide. If I continue and I stop, stop. So just shows you your shoulders have so much power to control your edges when you're in the steeps. So one last thing about couloirs. Quite often they can be so steep and so narrow, it's not even visible to make a turn. So what do you do then? Well, you straight line it. Yeah, no, you don't actually do that. That's terrible advice. I do not suggest you go out there and start straight lining couloirs. Instead, I've got a little piece of advice and a technique to use when the going gets steep and narrow. Here's a technique and a style of turn that you'll see some of the masters of steep skiing like Vivian Bruchet and Andre Bargiel execute when the skiing becomes incredibly consequential. So when I'm in those situations, what I'm trying to do is keep my tips on the ground at all costs. What this does is keep me forward on my skis. And what I want to do is execute a firm downhill pole plant. I want to then hop with my heels and twist around my tips, keeping the tips of my skis on the snow at all times to then rotate 180 degrees the other direction. Again, this is a technique that is, takes years of mastery. This is something some of the best skiers in the world utilize. This is something that is best practiced on a groomer at a ski hill in controlled situations. But this is a technique that I have learned and adopted to keep myself safe in the most dangerous ski conditions. Okay, so those are some of my tips for skiing the steeps and approaching and climbing and skiing couloirs. So if you have any more questions, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because there's plenty more how-to videos that are coming out on Solomon's channel. And in the meantime, have fun, be safe, and we'll see you in the mountains. Yeah.